Hello everyone, my name is Alroy and welcome to the Goan Appetit. Today we are going to be checking out something very very special. Now Goa is known as the land of sea, surf and sand but it also has a very strong food culture. Today we are in Ribandar, a small little cozy nook next to the Remedios Chapel which is just a stone's throw away from the Divja circle in Panjim. Nestled in a little corner is Mr. Bernard Teixeira working hard at his shop making for us some of the most delicious Goan food items including cutlet bread, choris bread, chili fry and today we are going to be tasting the world famous pork chops that he makes. So let's go in and check out all that's happening at Teixeira. I'm about to taste some of Goa's best pork chops. This is so good. They are hitting all together. There's a bit of sour, there's a bit of spice to it. I'm going to talk to the man himself about how he goes about his day making these wonderful, yummy and absolutely delicious food items. Now, for those of you who may not know, Bernard's pork ribs are legendary. They are some of the best pork ribs in Goa. So, within half an hour's time of him opening his shop, the pork ribs are usually over because 90% of the times that I've come here from the time I've been a child, I've never, very rarely have I got the chance to eat pork mm. chops because they are so good. They yeah. just finish off very soon. And yeah. I think after that, his kafreal is also something which has been uh, being passed on from Years on years. I started in 1997. The first day I was in crowd, I was in the same. Same. Times are different. How can I roll on? I was in the business. I was in the business. I was in the from 6 to 8, 8.30 done. 9 o'clock last kid I'm going to go. Okay, so Mr. Bernard, we have so many very delicious looking food items here today. We've got some chicken, we've got some pork. But tell us what are you going to be showing us? Uh, what is the trade recipe that you're going to be showing us today? I'm showing you kafriyal. Kafriyal, okay. Yeah. Alright, so you're making kafriyal over there? Yeah. Yes, okay. What do you go first? Of course. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Well done. This is the cafe masala going in. Cafe masala, chutney. This is onion, onion, tomat, tomat, kotmir, kotmir, okay. Maybe the alle lasun. Allah, okay, lasun, okay. And then, what else? Ginger garlic, okay, that's it. And that's going in. The whole thing goes in. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All okay. right. Okay. This is his own mix of masalas which he's made. This is his very own mix that he has tried and tested and come to the conclusion that this is the best that works for him in the kafriyal. And as you can see, as the masala is being made, we are also, Bernard serves a whole array of different types of food out here besides the pork chop that we are here for today. Also what he's very, very, very renowned for, famous for are the beef cutlets and the sausage bread. So as you can see, his son is actually cutting the meat which is going to be used for the beef cutlets a little later on and all this prep is happening uh, before the evening business actually comes in. So you have all the work which starts as he said in the morning where he has to go to the market, pick up the stuff, come, marinate, prep, keep it ready and then in the evening when the business actually starts off. As 
as you can see, this is the kafrel as well. No. Yeah, this is kafrel. This is kafrel being cooked as well. Yeah. And it's going to go from here to there. Yeah. Now, this is being cooked in what now? You've just put it in oil, or is there something else you put it? This is oil. This is oil. Yeah. Okay. So this now, as you said, you've put the masala in the kafrel is uh, the chicken is getting ready for the kafrel. Yeah. So for the chicken kafrel, you know, in Goa we have north side has different type of kafrel, south side has different type of kafrel which is made. What is so special about your kafrel for you? Kafrel means that Africa. Okay. Africa means kafrel means what? That is the barbecue we have got there. Okay. So it is ujjar basta. But am che goi che kine zala. It is local. <laughs> because Goans wanted to eat kafrel with bread, they yeah. decided to take something which used to be made in the barbecue yeah. and they add, yeah. added masala to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So they've added the green masala. Yeah, yeah. Wonderful. Okay. As a kid, I used to come over here and I had one question that I always wanted to ask, but since I was with my father, I would never have the opportunity to ask you these questions. Your shop had all these pictures of these bodybuilders and all the way. So my question to you is, did you also do bodybuilding and get into yes, this? I'm a first time bodybuilder. You're a first time bodybuilder. Is that why you had all those yeah, pictures yeah. and all? Yeah, yeah. So then tell me, if you were a bodybuilder, why did you jump from being a bodybuilder to going behind the kitchen and serving such amazing? government Goa. Tourism center का सुकेलो अंतिम सबको लोग बाइलो यों गला गलो नो मतलब बाइलो लोग का कहते हैं किन्हें कुत्तो लो किन्हें जाएं ठीक है फोकस जोन जाएं यस तो जोन जाएं मतलब कुछ किन्हें करें आए आओ बाहर आलो नो बाहर सुधु नहीं लो आओ अत आओ मरे इतने दिनों से बाहर रानुंग जाना किन्हें कुर्पा जाना पर इतने MLA यों लग लेगा, minister यों पग लग लेगा, आऊँ चिंता था, अन्य मजे मरने सब ने publicity मरने बाहर भाव ली, आये मरने एक पैसा मरुग ना, पर मजे friend अन्य मरने ऐका मेका चे चे video करूँ न मरने जने लोकांग ऐका मेका पावे ने मरने, अन्य लोग मगा मरुग लोग लड़ चुजे तीजे ये डे इलाम रे, कौशल ही लो, किने केलो, तुम ही से कर लेन Right. So, listeners, as you can see, if you can have good food which is being produced, you don't need even a social media presence to get your name out there. It just automatically happens to you. Manan, Deobare Guru, thank you very much for taking the time to talk to us and we wish you all the very best for the future. May your business keep growing the way it is. Thank yes. you so much. Yes, thank you very much. It's appetite or appetite now, you're listening. Today I'm at Prabhanga at the Premier Cyber Hotel. Shoot, how do you feel? Great. <laughs> this is the real greedy boy. Very awkward. 
awkward. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, walk straight. <laughs> this is this is how she decides to match with the chapel. Run, run, run. The greedy girl.